Fusarium wilt is a disease caused by fungus. Wilt is a typical symptom expressed by the plant. So it's like drought. You see that the plant loses uh, water. And this is the symptom caused by the fusarium in a banana plant. So once a banana plant is infected with fusarium, it blocks the water system, it eventually dies, and uh, there's no harvest. It was first uh, identified or discovered in Australia in a botanical garden near Brisbane by a medical doctor. Uh, but then it started to cause real damage when it was again discovered in Central America, in Panama, in Costa Rica. Uh, it caused severe damage to export bananas at that stage. It's a, a problem because the fungus can survive in the soil and it does survive up to 40 years in the soil. So it produces spores that is very tolerant um, and it's hard to target also because it sits in the soil. So you cannot treat it directly with chemicals or biological products. So when you discover a disease like that for the first time, you really have to identify it properly. You have to isolate those plants. You have to destroy it in a way. Isolation and containment was the main things, as well as sanitation practices, not for people to move it out of this, the site of discovery at that stage. You should also fence it in, that other people don't move into that specific site take some pictures and then get to the necessary plant protection authorities of his country, report it that and make sure that that sample is properly and rapidly analysed, that one can know the identity of the organism causing it. What a farmer needs to do is basically control access to his farm. On-farm spread has to do with the movement of people, so sanitation has to be in. Also, visitor control is a very important issue, not to allow people into fields. Then you get things like water that can flow over that area, so you have to dig some uh, draining channels around the infected site just to prevent that nothing moves the fungus out of that infection site. In non-infected farms, prevention is even more important because this is where the farmer really has to control who is allowed to come onto his farm. So they have to make an uh, appointment. Um, any planting material that goes onto that farm has to come from a reputable source just to make sure that there's no chance for contamination. Also, they have to look at the workers that's working on that farm, where are they coming from, um, or service providers or anything. So it's very much the responsibility of the farmer to protect his own plantations. Considering the biology of the fungus, that it can survive and, and difficult to control, it is really important that people think of diverse uh, agricultural systems. If possible, that they have to plant different crops on a specific area and maybe different types of bananas because not all of them are equally susceptible. If you go to, to production systems where people have mixed crops or in small-scale farmer systems, you have something that people grow the bananas with coffee or with other crops. And those are sometimes more resilient simply because you have more diverse microbes in the, in the soil you get a much more balanced system and this is why we as scientists really would like to promote biodiversity in agricultural systems. It is protecting the crops. The second thing that I really want to emphasize is that the most vulnerable people are the small scale growers. These are people that do not have the financial capacity to really bring in proper containment measures. And, and the small scale growers are probably the most important for us to protect. Uh, because they do not have any other means to protect them against pathogens. And this is why I also really appreciate the help of FAO, because people like that help us to deal with these issues and also to, to facilitate cross-border kind of uh, messages to, to deal with situations like Fusarium World in the world.